The new Venom of the MCU can be Peter Parker's best friend. Yes, theorists said Ned character can face a groundbreaking change and become the Hobgoblin in Spider-Man 4. And since everyone forgot about Peter's identity after No Way Home, this scenario can definitely happen in the next film. But the new theory that became popular recently says that Ned can be the new Venom in Spider-Man 4. And if you think about it, there's no actual reason to prevent this. So let's take a closer look at this theory and find out how Ned can become Venom. Yes, at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, the future of Spider-Man in the MCU has so countless alternatives. Peter Parker has been left alone and his costume changed to the comic's accurate design. It clearly tells us that he's just starting. And after the agreement of Sony and Marvel, besides Toby and Andrew's Spider-Man and villains, Tom Hardy's Venom came to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, it looks like Sony is not planning to give Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock to Marvel. Yes, we saw both Venom and Eddie in No Way Home, but it was just a short after credits scene, and Eddie went to his own universe at the end of it. The only thing left behind was a piece of Venom. So we can say Sony gave Venom to Marvel, not Eddie Brock's Venom. And the main question comes here. Who is gonna be the new Venom of the MCU? Yes, in the comics, we saw a number of characters becoming Hobgoblin. The same thing applies to Venom. So Eddie Brock is not the only one that can become Venom. Again, in the comics, the first owner of Venom was Spider-Man from Secret Wars. And yes, while we're getting closer to the Secret Wars, Venom is getting closer to Peter Parker too by leaving his particle in the MCU. So we'll see Venom merging with Peter Parker's first, just like in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy. And then, Venom should find Eddie Brock, who is Peter's colleague from the Daily Bugle. But as I said, we saw this scenario in Tobey's Spider-Man 3. And as you know, MCU usually does not bring the old scenarios without slightly changing it. Thus, in the next Spider-Man film, they can infect Ned with Venom symbiote, and it can create some emotional scenes between Peter Parker and Ned. Even with MJ, we may see a female Venom there. Since the multiverse opened, nothing is so absurd for Marvel. They started Spider-Man's character development from the middle, and now they're kind of doing a reset to his story. And even after Ned merged with Venom, he can actually remember Peter Parker's identity, because all the Venom variants across the multiverse are connected to one single mind. The same thing applies to MJ. Marvel can bring them back to the story with the help of Venom. What do you think? Should Ned be the new Venom or not? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.